Obikubana, Obikubana. No, it's not been like that. We've been working very hard. The name Obikubana has been on the lips of every Nigerian ever since he put his village, Oba, in Anambra State on the world map. It's no secret that he made this happen on the occasion of his mother's burial that took place from July 8th through July 11th of 2021. Putting the entire country on a standstill, Obi broke several records, including receiving over 500 livestock from friends, family and business associates. Also shocking everyone, the carnival-like barrels saw naira and dollars rain like paper in a never-seen-before fashion. Sequel to this show-stopping event, many Nigerians who had never heard about Obikubana before began asking questions, the most prominent of them being how he made his money. Of course, they didn't need to look too far to find the answers. AKA God's preferred son or Okwa Taozwara, Obi Kubana's profile as a real estate, hospitality and nightlife mogul came to life. Many found out he is the CEO of Kubana Group, a chain of nightclubs and hotels spread across Enugu, Oweri, Abuja and Lagos. With a net worth of over $90 million, many also found out about his million dollar homes in Anambra, Abuja, Lagos and the exotic cars in his garage. Surprisingly, many are still not satisfied by his impressive and legitimate business profile. According to them, only someone into money rituals and illegitimate businesses such as drug and high-class Yahoo Yahoo would spray money the way he and his friends did during his mother's burials. Should we blame Nollywood for this? Well, if you're in this category of people who doubt the source of Obikubana's wealth, we at African Glitz TV are about to shock you as we go over the real story of Obikubana and how he became a millionaire in dollars. Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. Who is Obikubana? Obikubana, whose real name is Obina Iyegbu, is a 46-year-old real estate, hospitality and nightlife billionaire businessman hailing from Afo Uzo Oba in Anambra State. He was born in April 12, 1975 in Oba as the last child out of four children. His father, the late Sir Alex Naimeka Iyegbu, with the title Chief Akaeze Oba of Agboji Village, was quite an affluent man and his late mother, Ezine Uche Iyegu, was a teacher who became a headmistress and then the co-founder and proprietress of Giant Steps International School in Oba, Anambra State. Obi completed his primary school education at Central Primary School before moving to Dennis Memorial Grammar School, a prestigious secondary school in the heart of Onisha, for his secondary education. He would later earn a degree in political science from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, in 1998. I read a lot. You read a lot? I read a lot. Wow. Everything I've learned in my life, everything I've applied in my life, I learned in the course of traveling. Okay. So I sit down, I lie down, I try to visualize the next step. When people are saying, wow, wow, you've done very well, you're looking at uh, what's the next step. Right. You have to keep worrying them. Today, Obi is married to Ebele Inyegu, a lawyer by profession and a humanitarian by heart. They met when he was still living in a room without a bed and later got married in 2008. Together, they now have four male children, earning them the nickname Papa Boys or Mama Boys. How Obi became a billionaire According to Obi Kubana to BBC Pigeon, he became a millionaire in dollars, primarily from hard work and secondarily from consistency, integrity, discipline, diligence and of course, open-mindedness. He said a pastor could not make anyone rich because they are the ones who need money the most and a native doctor cannot give anyone money from rituals because his children are the ones who fetch water from the stream. So, anyone who needs money should simply work hard. Native doctor don't think give you money because in children, then they fetch water for a stream. If they want, they, they give you money. Work hard. Work hard. Work hard. Explaining further to BBC Pigeon, Obi said his journey to becoming the successful billionaire businessman he is today started after completing his NYSC at the National Assembly, Abuja. He looked for a job for a long time in the center of unity that even his shoe began begging for mercy. He eventually stopped looking for a white collar job and did what the Eagles would call hard work. He set up a mama put and later set up a beer parlor. 
After the building was demolished, he changed his strategy and opened Ibiza Club. During this period, he lived in a 12x12 one-room apartment in Abuja with five other people hustling for daily bread. Obi Kubana said he made his first million immediately after NYC when he met a client who asked him to furnish his house. At the time, he was into a land and house agency in Abuja. He said he made 600,000 naira as his profit from the deal and the client again gifted him 500,000 naira for a job well done. Altogether, that's a whooping 1.1 million naira. He would later join PPMC and began doing contract work with the government. Some of the profit he made was used in buying his first car, a V-Boot. Two years after the struggle, his first nightclub, Ibiza, took off. Obi decided to invest more into the nightlife and hospitality industry as it was working for him. This is what birthed Kubana Group, which today is one of Nigeria's top luxury hospitality and entertainment brands. Like many other business people, business was not always rosy for Obi Kubana. He said at some point he was so frustrated that he planned to leave the country to hustle and start a new life. He picked up his passport and applied for a visa to South Africa, where most Nigerian hospitality and nightlife businesses are booming. However, his application was denied, forcing him to stay back in the country to continue hustling. Well, I was going to go to South Africa to go and hustle over there. Luckily for me, I didn't get visa. As simple as South African visa was then, I couldn't get it. So I was like frustrated, I was fed up, and I was like, come on, you gotta move. But on the second thought, I was like, ah, what am I looking for out there? Everything I've always wanted in life is here. And I went back to plan B. I started walking, I prayed, um, somehow I'm a spiritual man being, and I started putting everything I visualized into practice, and they started yielding positive results. And here we are. Apart from his hotels, nightclubs and other real estate business, Obi makes money from being a brand ambassador to many brands. He also hosts celebrity club parties and concerts. No wonder he is family with all the top Nigerian artists, including Davido, Whiskey, and Burner Boy. He also has several partnerships with spirit and wine brands worth millions of naira. Apart from people in his line of business and celebrities, Obi Kubana was relatively unknown among the masses. He terms this to him being a quiet and private person who doesn't like to engage in social media banter or stir up controversies. But all thanks to his mother's burial ceremony, Obi has now grown famous. Uh, social media just made it look as if Kubana came yesterday. Right. Uh, so <laughs> prior to that, we've been on the background, toiling, skimming walking, facing the challenges. Meanwhile, Obi's unpopularity all these years is not to say he has not been generous towards people. Obi is not just a billionaire but also a philanthropist. In 2013, he reportedly pushed 53 uneducated Oba boys to the market to learn how to trade. In 2017, he withdrew them from their masters and settled them with 3 million naira each and also paid for their shops. He again linked 40 of them into the importation business using his goodwill and today, Obi says at least 38 of them are billionaires and the rest are millionaires. In 2018, again, Obi picked 100 educated men and introduced them to white men for business and he confirmed that they are all now multi-millionaires in dollars. Coming after his mother's burial, Obi has again promised to give over 300 young men 1 million naira each to start up a business for themselves and we guess it won't end there. Although Obi said it doesn't give so that they can repay him back, he confirmed that he had benefited immensely from giving and lifting others from poverty. He says some of the people he helped have in return helped him in his own business after they became big men. This explains the massive love he was shown during his mother's burial which wasn't planned. According to him, money cannot buy the crowd that showed up for the event. He added that he has personal relationships with the men spraying money lavishly at the barrel and even has a long history with some of them. Debunking the erroneous notion that they are all ritualists, Obi noted that all of them own legitimate businesses and they have a right to spend their money as they chose. The father of four also added that he is happy they came through for him and spent money heavily on him because he did not steal or bring disrepute to his community as well as guests. 
on why he went all big for his mother's burial, the silent Bologna explained that he and his siblings promised his mother that they would do a carnival-like birthday party for their 80th birthday. Sadly, she passed away at the age of 78, and because of this, they decided to throw her a carnival-like funeral as they promised. With all his wealth, rich friends and connections with people holding political positions, Obi would describe himself as a simple, natural and real person. He says that he is content with running his business empire and has no interest whatsoever in politics. And to those asking Obi Kubana to cut up for them, Obi has just one thing to say, work hard. If you're wondering about the kind of hard work, Kanayo O Kanayo has the answer. Okay. Maybe if, uh, Start the hustle. Make the FCC not call your company. Carry everybody. Leave you alone. People feel I've made it. I have not. Really? I have not. I can, <laughs> I can say I've made it. But I'm getting there. I'm focused. I know what I want to be. I know what I want to leave behind. I know the legacies I want to leave behind as a human being. I'm not there yet. But we're on the right path. So tell us guys, what do you think about Obi Kubana's success story? Do you now agree that he built his business from the ground up and it is purely legitimate? Would you say the massive life shown to him during his mother's burial is due to his good deeds? Do you agree with Obi Kubana that the only route to success and wealth is hard work? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss all the best ones. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one. You don't make your own soap, carry a bath. You don't cut the food of anybody for this world. That's how you be.